Okay, today in After Effects, I'm going to show you how to utilize the green screen and import yourself into your uh, story that you've created. Uh, what you're going to do is go to File, Import, File, and I'm going to use an example that one of my students earlier today uh, filmed in the class. And I'm going to also import a background that another student used as a background from Illustrator that they created. So I'm going to first uh, put in the background and then I'm going to import or drag in my video footage and you want to make sure the video footage is on the first layer. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this one and drag it down. Okay. Um, so now what's wrong with this? You may think, oh she's, not, she's got cut off. No, she didn't get cut off. It's just she's bigger than our uh, composition layer. So I'm going to hold down the shift key and hold and then resize it, my video file, so that we can see the whole thing. Um, so there we go. So that's what we got so far. Okay. And I'm going to change the viewing to maybe, I'll go 100%. Okay. And then using the space bar, I can like drag over and use what I want. So it's just five seconds. She's just waving. She's pretending that one of her characters is over there. And then she's like having a good time. So our goal is to first of all take out this green screen. I'm going to hide back down here, I'm going to hide my background layer. Then I'm going to make sure that my video file is selected. I'm going to go to Effects, and then I'm going to go into Keying, and it's called Key Light. And in Key Light, you'll have these options right here. And you're first going to click on Screen Color, and then using the eyedropper tool, make sure you click on the eyedropper tool right here. And you're going to just click on the green area. Okay. Now you'll notice that some of the areas are shiny. That's why when you film, you want to make sure that there's no glare from the lights on that. So there's a few things that we can do to uh, kind of brush this up. Um, it's called screen. Let's see. You want to go down to screen matte. And in screen matte, you'll see clip black and clip white. So we can adjust these. Notice the, par the parts on the screen, those glares are disappearing. So I'm going to bring that down, but not too much. And then I can also increase the whites if I need to. You also want to uh, change the screen gain to adjust those as well to have it more refined. So um, now when I click in my background, you'll notice that she's imported into the background. Now, what's wrong with this scene? Is my door supposed to be in there? No, right? Why is my door on the left side? Uh, this is a very, very simple fix. So don't worry when you're filming about filming other things outside of it. All you need to do is go up to your pen tool up here and then just do a rough pen around yourself like this. It doesn't really matter too much. And then notice my door disappeared and I'm done. If I want to edit, <laughs> it's magic. <laughs> Is that what you said, Joel? <laughs> if you want to edit your points, I mean, just use the arrow and then move your points and make it more refined if you want. So, um, so now when it, she's like waving at the duck, okay. And notice her ha her hand is like cut off. So I want to make sure that I see all of it. And so now she's maybe going down to see the duck. And maybe she, I want to move her, right? So I can move that layer, um, well that's my background layer, but I can choose a movie layer and then move her around, maybe she's going to pat the duck right there, okay? So I have her waving, she's going to pat the duck, wow it's a big duck, <laughs> and then cool. she's like yeah I like the duck, and that kind of thing. Okay, so use creativity in your filming, have them interact with your characters. Uh, the next step would be to take your duck and like animate him in After Effects to like maybe spin around and then open his mouth and quack at Kimmy. 
or maybe like um, ruffle his feathers or do something cool. So, so yeah, that's just a basic uh, video tutorial on how to use the green skein and keen.